Hey, what's up folks? How y'all doing? Hey, today's video we're going to do the rear axle seals. Rear axle seals in the Grizzly. If you watched the last video when I talked about the, uh, I done the review on the machine after 4,500 miles, I had noticed the rear axle seals were leaking. Got it up on the lift, and there's something else I noticed when I put it up here, and I'll show you. And what it is, is a wheel bearing. This wheel bearing's not loose. There's no play in it. But if you listen, listen real closely, Matt, turn up your volume and listen. You hear it roaring? That wheel bearing is rough, making a roaring, roaring. I can't, I can't say roaring, <laughs> sorry. But see that wheel bearing is noisy. Um, I'll get some wheel bearings ordered and we'll do that video next. So, but anyhow, we're gonna do the axle seals and we'll also put new fluid in it, gear lube. We'll put, we'll, we'll drain it down, get new gear lube put in as well. Get this shield off. We'll, we'll get this done. Got the wheels off. I got the drain pan down there. I'm going to, uh, you'll need a um, six millimeter Allen socket. I'm gonna break that loose. Break the drain plug loose and start draining it while I'm pulling these axles out. But the uh, caliper, brake caliper bolts to this spindle, which I'm gonna pull this spindle out with the axle still in it into the, uh, and pop the axles out of the uh, rear diff. So I need to take the caliper loose from this spindle. So I believe those are 12s, a couple of 12 millimeter bolts right there. So you need a 17, a 14, and a 12 to get that off. So I'll pop these two nuts off, slide those bolts out. That will come right off after I have the caliper off. Let me get that um, drain plug out of there and we'll get it draining. Just be careful. <clears throat> Don't want to strip it out. Drain plug. It looks milky, but I showed you what the fluid looks like that's in there. Let me get these bolts out and we'll uh, actually let me get the calipers off and then we'll pull those bolts out. It should slide right off there. I say it should. There we go. Give you a shot at those pads. You can see how thick they are. And the front ones are shot. Like I say, we'll do a video on that. Putting front pads on it. So it's going to be sitting in the way up there. I guess I could take those loose and let it hang over here. Those brack, those bolts there. And get it completely out of the way. I'll do that. All right, guys, I'm just hitting this with the impact. The 17 millimeter nuts, put a wrench in the back side here. Pop them right off. There we go. Slide those bolts out. Now here's these bushings that I'm not gonna replace. So now basically just uh, pop that axle out of the rear diff and this will come out. Here's the seals for those bushings. Get one of those seals. Okay, let me get a screwdriver and pop that out. Yep, there it started. Did you guys catch that? There it started, see? It started moving. There's just a snap ring that snaps down. And then that just basically slides right out. So. Mm 
There we go. See, it's just a snap ring, snaps in. Just like any front wheel drive car. Or... And there's our seal. I've got both axles popped out now. There's that side, that side. Um, but one thing I want to show you guys is if you're ever going to do this, you need to pay attention. You need to look how deep those seals are set into that rear diff. Let me get, see if I can get it real close here. You can see what I'm talking about is right here. How deep that is setting right there. You see, there's the outside edge. Now, how deep is that seal setting? And there could be a shoulder in there, so you drive it in until it hits the shoulder, or there might not be. I don't know yet. So I'm paying attention right here about how far the depth of where that's sitting right there, which looks to be not quite an eighth of an inch right there. That's a little less than an eighth. So I'm going to pop these out of here on both sides. Give you a shot at the other side too, this side. You can see it wasn't leaking as bad. Come out. Let me show you the new ones. Here's our uh, two new seals for the rear diff. And then I also bought, here's our front brake pads. I won't do it in this video. That you know, I'll do that in the next video. Let me get one of these out of the package here and give you guys a look. That little lip there that rides right on your uh, end of that that inner CV joint, and there are rubber out there. So, all right, this pretty basic little axle seal. Okay, let me get those popped out, and here's how I'll do it with uh, no seal puller. Shouldn't be no problem. You just take your pry bar. In here, get it hooked. There's one popped right out. Let me pop the other one out. If I can get in on it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. All right. See, it dents it pretty good. Pulls it right out. So it looks like, let me look in here. Uh, yeah, there's no edge, like I was saying. You see there? Hope I got the camera right. There's no edge. Oh, there's a, okay, there's an edge right here. Okay, so we're going to put a flush with that that right there there's an outside edge and there and that becomes smaller right there that's a smaller diameter so I'll put a flush with where the smaller diameter is okay so that's kind of your marking of how far to shove the seal in there's right there on that edge Hopefully you can see that okay guys I got that wiped out a little bit like I was talking about that edge there this side here there's a shoulder right down in here. There's a shoulder. So this seal will probably bottom out on this shoulder. And then you have that edge there that we was talking about. So that seal basically fits on that spot right there that's smaller than this outside diameter right here. Since I don't have anything like a seal driver, we just have to get a hammer, start them, and drive them in there. camera up here for y'all so basically just kind of get it started all 
All right, can you see it started? And now I'll take a punch flat on the end and I'll work it all the way around. And I'll work it all the way around. I'll tap on it until I get it set down in there the right depth. All right. I'm actually got another light over here when it's set up. There we go. So I really can't get any swing. Maybe up like this. And work your way around it. There we go. And get a pretty good swing there. Try to drive it in equally. That looks pretty good. You see that depth now? It's kind of harder to see that it has this lip on it. The depth that it's in there. Let me get the other side knocked in and uh, I guess we'll go from there. Um, got this one stuck in too. So, so both the axle seals or differential seals are installed. Put the plug back in. We'll fill it back up after we stick our axles in. But here, let me show you something else I found. Remember I was telling you the front wheel bearing on the left front wheel bearing here was making noise when I spun the wheel? Well, same thing back here. Hear that? Noisy. They're not loose. Usually the Polaris guys, they notice their wheel bearings are shot because they get loose. There's no play in them, but they're noisy. So they've gotten rough over the years. So, I'll go ahead and pop those nuts off there, these axle nuts. And then I can stick the two axles back in the rear diff. Fill it full of fluid and then I'll leave the rest of it apart until I get uh, wheel bearings. Get some wheel bearings ordered. So. I'll get the other one out, I'll slide the axles in, and then we're going to be uh, done because uh, that's all we can do until we get some new wheel bearings. Put them up in there, twist them a little bit. Yeah, that, that clip goes down. Now I will listen real close. Get you over here where you can see. You hear that clip? That clip jumped out. And now it won't come out. Now if you pry on it and it pops out, that clip jumps back down. And we'll shove this one in, which is pretty much a piece of cake. Twist it, make sure your spline started. Give it a tap. Oh, there it goes. All right. Axles are in. We'll end the video here since I can't put it back together with the uh, I don't have wheel bearings So that's uh, how to install Axle seals and that's it next video. We'll uh, we'll put the we'll get it put back together with the um, new wheel bearings. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys